Thank you for purchasing the Metex Electric Belt Drive Drapery Track System, CL200BT. This is the part list for this system. It is important to understand which parts is which. You can find this in the manual. To give you an idea, the following picture shows the structure of the symbol tracks. To get started, peel off any plastic and make sure you are working in a large space. Cut the track to the size that you need. The track length is the same size as the whole assembled track from tip to tip subtracted by 5 and 5 eighths of an inch or 143 millimeters. Then connect the single tracks with track connectors. Loop the drive belt into the drive unit or idler, one side in and then the other side out. Then insert each end belt into the tracks. A great way to make this process easier is to use the buckle and attach the buckle to the end belt and slide the belt through. You can even attach the carrier to the belt and the buckle so you can simply slide the belt through the track smoothly. However, this is not necessary. The end goal is to insert the drive belt through one side of the track into the drive unit or the idler and through the other side of the track. Once the drive belt is through one side of the track, remove the buckle and the carrier if they were used and grab the drive unit or the idler. Slide the belt through the drive unit or idler as demonstrated. Once the belt is through the drive unit or the idler, slide the belt through the other side of the track. Once you finish looping the drive belt, keep the track aligned with the drive unit, but do not insert the track into the drive unit yet. Pull out either side of the drive belt so that the two ends are both seven teeth wide. Here is a reference picture for you to use and compare. Count to make sure that both ends have seven teeth of length out of the track. In the demonstration, the belt has already been cut to fit the length of the track. However, if there is still excess belt, simply use a pencil to mark where the belt needs to be cut and cut it off. Make sure that you double check before cutting the belt. Insert the buckle on one end of the belt and secure it with the buckle cap. Insert the master carrier part 1 into the end of the belt using the buckle. You can also choose to do the following steps without the master carrier on, as some people may find it easier. Slightly move the drive unit away from the track and align the drive belt ends again. On the opposite belt of the master carrier part 1, use a pencil and mark the belt where it is aligned with the edge of the drive unit. If you haven't inserted the master carrier yet, do so now. Pull out 11 teeth of the drive belt from the first mark and then use a pencil and mark the 11th tooth as the second mark. Insert the first buckle at the second mark and then skip four more teeth and insert the second buckle. Cap the two buckles and insert them into the master carrier. Next, insert the carriers, about one carrier for every five inch of track and the loop stop. Insert the drive unit fully into the track and then tighten the loop stop with a screwdriver. On the other end, insert the belt into the idler and loop it out. Install a buckle on the end of the belt and insert the buckle into the other buckle bracket. Pull the two master carry parts towards each other and insert the track into the idler unit. The two master carry parts should touch each other when the track is fully inserted into the idler unit. Link the two master carry parts together by a link plate and a screw and a nut. Use your hands to move the master carrier to the full length of the track and make sure that the movement is smooth. If the belt is too tight, loosen the loop stop and pull the drive unit out a little. You can also loosen the belt by repositioning the master carrier by one or two teeth. It is very important to make sure that the belt is at a proper length. Having a belt that is too loose or too tight inside of the track will affect the movement and could potentially damage the belt.
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.